Crochet techniques. How to crochet the chainless starting treble crochet stitch. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your crochet skills right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five crochet tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A crochet hook and a ball of yarn. A special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores and lionbrand.com. In the color, Oxford Gray. At the beginning of most of your rows when you are crocheting, the pattern is usually going to ask you to chain a few stitches. Uh, in this case, I'm going to chain four as if I was going to do a treble crochet, which is a really tall extended post stitch. And the chain four is going to get us the height that we need to continue going along the row with treble crochet stitches like I've done in the previous rows here. Now this is fine uh, and it's very easy to do but it tends to not have the nicest most finished look to it. Uh, we can see down here that we've done a few uh, done a chain for to begin the row and we've got this big gap in the fabric. Um, the other thing that is not quite as nice is that it sort of gives this little bit of a dimple in the side of the fabric so you don't have a a nice straight edge to your fabric um, which if you're making a scarf or uh, anything where that edge is going to be exposed it's not quite as desirable so what we can do is make a sort of a, a stitch that has a similar width to the treble crochet and we call this a chainless starting treble crochet and I've done one right here now it's not quite as thick as the treble crochet post, but it's a little bit more substantial than the chains that we did a few rows before that. So the other thing I like about this is that it gives you a much smoother edge. So you can see that this is a lot more seamless along the side than the chain stitches are. So let me show you how we do this. For step one, we are going to insert our hook, or we'll continue with the hook in our yarn, and we're going to draw up a loop that we want to be about the same height as the treble crochet. Now, you should be able to get the same hook that you are using into that stitch, I would say about three times, maybe four times even, uh, because this is a very long stitch. Now, for step two, we're going to hold these, this stitch pretty tight along the bottom, and we're going to place a finger on the top of this stitch here, uh, or top of the loop, because we want to secure this down. There's not going to be anything to really hold this in place, and that's going to be important as we begin working the rest of the stitch. So for step three, I'm actually going to take the hook, and we're going to swing it towards us, and we're going to yarn over the hook with the loop. So we're going to come down and under, okay, and we're actually going to do it again. We're going to come all the way over and around. Now, this is really tight here on this edge. I can't really even get the loop all the way around here. So what I'm going to do instead is just pull up a little bit more slack on there. Not too much, but just a little bit more. So we'll yarn over twice, and that's a little bit better. All right, next we're going to yarn over our hook and I'm going to just draw it back around okay now I'm still holding tight onto this top of this loop as we go and now I'm going to yarn over again and we're going to draw through these two loops right here these first two loops that are on our hook okay and then I'm going to finish up here by yarning over and drawing through the last two loops that are on our hook. All right, and that's going to give us our chainless starting treble crochet stitch. 
Okay, and then we can continue working in the row. We're going to skip this first stitch because that's what this chainless starting treble crochet is. It's the first stitch. So we'll go into the second loop and then continue along in pattern. And that's going to look a lot more seamless in your fabric as you go. All right, let me show you how to do that one more time. So we're going to begin with our loop and we're going to pull that loop with some extra slack. We're going to get that nice and tall. Okay. Then we're going to hold down the loop and we're going to yarn over with the loop, yarn over the hook with the loop. Okay. And we're going to do that twice, yarn over twice. Then we're going to yarn over our hook and draw that through. Okay, so we've got three loops on our hook. Then I'm going to yarn over and draw through the first two loops. And we want this pretty tight. So I like to hold and kind of just stretch those loops a little bit to make it easier to get through. Then we're going to yarn over and draw through the last two loops. And there we go. There's our chainless starting treble crochet stitch. Hey! I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, New Stitch A Day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!